Have you ever wondered why organizations release DEI statements? Perhaps you think your organization could use one. Well, stay tuned. Let's talk about it. Hello and welcome. I'm Arielle with Unexpected Virtual Tours and Training, where we host radically creative DEI events for remote and hybrid teams. Today, I want to talk with you about corporate DEI statements. What exactly are they? Why do they matter? And how can you craft one for your company or organization? Let's talk about why your organization needs a DEI statement. It may seem like just a gesture, but a well-crafted DEI statement serves as a blueprint guiding companies toward building a culture that can foster innovation, empower its people, and connect deeply with customers and clients. Also, since DEI statements are shared publicly, they can create a sense of accountability and signal that a plan is in place to meet your DEI goals. So what exactly are these DEI statements? You can think of a DEI statement as a formal written declaration that outlines an organization's commitment to promoting diversity, fostering equity, and creating an inclusive environment. This commitment is then put into action through a company's operations policies and culture. DEI statements can seem complicated to write. After all, it's a lot writing on them. So what should one say? Companies approach their statement in different ways, so there's some flexibility to craft one that best suits your company. To help get you started, here's a basic outline that works for many types of companies. It typically starts with a statement of the core values that your team believes in, such as inclusion. This is often followed by an affirmation of your purpose, which must be a strong statement about your commitment to those values. The statement itself, it's only part of the point. You'll want to lay out some actionable steps. You could outline specific initiatives, strategies, and commitments that the company will undertake to make sure you carry out your values. In the same vein, this is a good time to commit to accountability. Think about your organization, how it can measure up, measure progress, and hold itself accountable for its DEI goals. And finally, be sure to reflect on authentic commitment to an ongoing process of education and improvement. So let's talk about how to get it done. It begins with gathering insights from stakeholders and conducting an internal assessment. What do your company's current DEI efforts look like? And what's your company's current culture? Be sure to consult employees and other stakeholders in this assessment to seek their input, to make sure that the statement resonates with everyone. Try to foster open discussion where everyone can share their experience and articulate their hopes for company culture. And be sure to leave plenty of time and to show that you take feedback seriously. Steps that would speak of progress to one member of your team just may not even occur to another, but together you can come up with a shared vision. Turning words into action is crucial, and crafting your DEI statement is a great time to reflect on your company's work culture. You could brainstorm initiatives like DEI committees, strategies for inclusive communication, or review mentorship programs, or other steps that will help bring the values expressed in the statement into reality. The best DEI statements are living documents that change as needed. So this is also a great time to establish what regular monitoring means for your group. This shouldn't be thought of as a one and done sort of exercise. Being open to continuous feedback and adaptation ensures that your DEI statement will remain relevant and effective as your team grows and that your inclusion efforts stay effective too. Along the way, avoid common pitfalls by embracing specificity, revisions, and accountability, and always do so with an eye towards inclusion. Because just as drawing a blueprint is a crucial step to constructing a building, drafting your DEI statement isn't the end either. It simply means the real work can begin. Well, folks, that's about all the time we have for today, but good luck crafting your statement. For more information and resources on this and other DEI topics, be sure to check out the description below in the links of our blog and live virtual events. And be sure to like and subscribe to keep up with the latest in DEI training. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you back here again soon.